We're so excited to be here together. Yoo-hoo, welcome back. We're in Bath. We're gonna do some stuff. Let's go. Scotch egg experience. Have you had yours yet? It's alright. It's alright. Alright. It's supposed to be better than alright? I don't know. I've never had one. That's it. Oh, hello there. It's me. Let's talk about Bath. There is plenty about Bath that we would highly recommend. There were also some things that looked good, sounded good, came highly recommended, and ended up a bit like that scotch egg. For the love of food, could somebody who is in London or who has visited London please leave us a message in the comments and tell us where to go to get an authentically good scotch egg. We need a scotch egg redo. Help. There is so much to unpack from our two night, three day stay in Bath that you're getting not just one, but two Bath Adventure episodes. Well, that there is a difficult question to answer. With the help of this handy continuum, I'm going to try and qualify our overall bath experience. On this end here, we have typically touristy. How do you know when a place is typically touristy? Tour buses, touristy shops where you can get your little flags and your trinkets, shopping, casinos, etc. places to spend your money. You need to buy tickets for practically everywhere and there will be lineups for practically everywhere. And as I also learned in Bath, convenience stores and restaurants that also double as locations to purchase luggage storage. And then on the other end here, we have living that local life. You need to ask somebody who's been there or somebody who lives there to know what you're supposed to do. Otherwise, you're gonna be lost and you probably won't have a very good time. Most places fall somewhere in the middle of this continuum. And people are the same way. What type of traveler are you? The go hard tourist or the let's live like a local? Eric and I typically fall over here somewhere. We put up with touristy things sometimes because we don't want to miss out. If we were given the choice, we would probably prefer to see any new location from a local's point of view. I'm going to put back on this continuum, keeping in mind that it's solely based off of the experiences that Eric and I had and our perspective. You might have a completely different one. And if you do, I would love to hear from you and find out what locals like to do in around Bath. I'm gonna place Bath close to the middle, but just like maybe a couple notches down towards the touristy side. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap here. That's kind of why we had a scotch egg experience in Bath. It's supposed to be better than all right. Bath is touristy, but it's also extremely historic and it's a bustling residential community. So depending on how you plan your trip, it could really go either way. You are about to see my favorite historical building in Bath. Surprise! And it's not the Roman baths. The Roman baths have a hype. We are going there, but that wasn't my favorite location to visit. And before you come at me in the comments, because I know you will, I have a thing for historical places of worship churches, abbeys, cathedrals, mosques, etc. I love them. Just let me have this one, okay? So let's get back to the rest of day one.
just makes the shoes a little more casual, which I don't know if I like. What are you going to do if you want to wear them tomorrow, but you don't want them to look so casual? That's why they give you two laces. Does anybody else do this? Yes, people do. They just change their laces depending on their mood. They look stupid. I'll change them tomorrow. <laughs> too early. I needed at least another hour of sleep. I had a great breakfast. And now we're just waiting until an appropriate time to go to the spa. And we're gonna lay around in the pool for like two hours because everything else is closed. Eric's super stoked. It's gonna be great. not good. There was nothing right about that. The cuts were too fast. You couldn't even see the water really. The music was just like a little off. Didn't really match the vibe. I think what we need to do is we need to meet here again next week. We're going to do a little bit of this. We're going to do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. We're going to call it episode nine and I'll see you then. Take care.